Hi Achievers! How are you all doing? Good evening! Ravi, Madiha, Sravanya, Ayush, Goranj, Sai, welcome back guys. A very, very warm welcome to this session. Lakshya, Shivani, good evening, good evening. Hello, Namaste, Shankar, Ashwini, all set to learn balancing today. Sushant, Tavleen. Welcome guys, quickly tell your friends about the session so that they can also join in and then we'll have an amazing session together. Great! No, Renu, you're not late. We've just started. Yes, Shivani, I do. Am I pronouncing your name right? Vedika, Anchal, Saksham, Manoj, Vandana. Goranch is super excited for the session. Yes, because today we'll be sharing five easy steps to balance any chemical equation. So today we'll understand how actually balancing is being done. We'll visualize the concept, we'll solve, we'll solve questions based on balancing and just five easy steps and you'll reach at the correct answer. We'll also be sharing a shortcut with you pretty soon, so stay tuned. Hey Aditi, Nikhil, Sanvik, I can see now many of you have joined in. Yes, this is I think the most important topic of chemical reactions and equations. This goes without saying infinite stars I can put here. So, so very important. I mean definitely you can expect a question in the exam out of this. Correct. So, it's very important to understand this topic, isn't it? Yeah, the logic is really simple. You've got a seesaw. How, how is a seesaw balanced? When the two people on the opposite sides, you know, the weight is balanced, right? That's how a seesaw is balanced. Similar thing, similar logic is true in case of chemical reactions as well. You need to, in a way, balance the mass. Sai says, homework question, we are going to come to that, but before that, I have something really exciting for all of you, which is, ta-da, BST, what's this? Baiju's scholarship test. This is for all the grades, starting from grade 4 to grade 10, so you can tell your friends also about this. This test is basically going to test your conceptual understanding and aptitude. And based on this, you can get up to 100% scholarship. What else do we want, right? 100% scholarship. So, you can register for free now. Last day to register is 22nd May. For your grades, we have the information right here, class 9 and 10. 22nd May, 3 p.m. to 4.15 is going to be the test. Syllabus is mathematics, science, social science and aptitude. How many of you are super excited for this? 100% scholarship. I mean, isn't this like too amazing? I see a lot of you saying me, me, me. Well, I am super excited to actually, you know, know what is your percentage of scholarship that you got. Great. Absolutely. Hey Utkash. Absolutely guys, we will be visualizing. Yes, we will be visualizing how to balance. We will have the activity time, don't worry. Raghavan has already registered. Good to know that. Alright. And I hope you all are aware of this update as well. Early start to class 9 and both 2023 in 45 days. So, we are right here. We are about to master this chapter in next 45 days. In maths, we will be covering real numbers, polynomials, linear equations and science. We are already on this chapter when it comes to chemistry, chemical reactions and equations, in physics, light and in bio life processes. So, yes, our aim is 
set and we are on the right track. Yes, I hope you all are aware of this and now I see a lot of you writing about homework question, homework question, homework question. So first of all, let me tell you who all actually posted the homework question and one thing I really want to actually uh, highlight over here is this time when the homework question was being analyzed, I realized that your presentation has improved drastically. You have written the answer properly, full sentences, you know, exact answer that needs to be there in the exam. So, well done guys, really well presented. Really, I was really happy to see the answers. Alright, so, kis kis ne kara actually me homework? Kis kis ne achche se present kiya? Let's see. Sushila, Lakshmi, Sai, Shivani, Aryan, Prince, Bishal, Nasira, Muskan, Shruti, Goranj, Saksham, Priyanshu and Mani. So many of you have done this homework and all of you have written really good answers. But we have pinned Aryan's solution on the channel and we have highlighted the same on Telegram as well. So, I want, if I have taken your name, give me loads and loads of smiley in the comment section and of course, you know when to give a thumbs up, right? If you promise that you will be attempting today's question, today's homework question in full detail as expected. Hey Renu, it's okay, we'll discuss the question, don't worry about this. I see clappings, I see smiley, happy faces and it's always good to see your energy, always. Definitely makes my day. Hey Shirin. Good. Afreen. Jyoti has also done the homework. Yes, Tahir, we will be discussing the solution. Don't worry about this. But before I kick start, quickly let me know. Fata fat se bata do if you can hear me properly, see me properly, if the PPT is visible. You guys are very well aware of the drill. Check everything. Check if you can see this magnesium burning over here, beautifully burning. If you see the white dazzling light. Good Shankar. There is a possibility that when we noted down the names, maybe after that you have uh, written the answer. So, we might have missed your name, that is okay. No Alina, you are right. Not late. Good. Loads of smiley thumbs up. So, thank you for giving me a good to go and let's get started. So, the homework question was, explain how burning a strip of magnesium is a chemical change. So, they've solved half of the problem that in the question itself, they've told you that it's a chemical change. Now, they're asking how. How is this a chemical change? So, in a way, you had to explain this. Now, when magnesium is burning, what is happening guys? Magnesium is combining with oxygen to give you magnesium oxide. Now this magnesium oxide is a new product that is being formed, isn't it? And this new product has different properties as compared to magnesium and oxygen. So the composition is definitely different, right? New substance forming, absolutely right. Yes, Madiha, that is MgO. So there you go. This is a new substance which in a way tells us that it's a chemical change. Now, when a magnesium ribbon is heated, it burns with a brilliant white light to form a powdery ash called magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide is a completely different substance. It's a new substance and based on that, we can easily say that this is a chemical change taking place. Good. Good to know that. So, how many of you know the answer now? How many of you have understood the answer? Give me loads of thumbs up so that we move on and get started with today's class. Yes, Radha. Good. I see a lot of you saying, ma'am, understood. And again, well done guys. 
Thank you, Anmol. Well done, guys. You people have really presented the homework question in the best possible manner this time, and we had a difficult time choosing the best answer. Good. All right. So, what are we going to cover today? Today we will talk about word and chemical equation, balancing chemical equation, and of course we'll give you another homework question. So I hope. You are all set to attempt this one. Yes? Plus, we will have activity based learning, we will have a game that we will be playing together. So, there is so much more that is going to be there. So, let us get started. Great! Good to see that you people are posting loads of thumbs up. Chalo, without further ado, let us see, let us start. So, how do we represent a chemical reaction? We know about a chemical change, we know about a chemical reaction, right? Look at this. We have magnesium and this magnesium is burning. Beautifully burning, I should say. Yes, producing this dazzling flame. Now, magnesium is combining with oxygen. Yes, somewhere related to the homework question. So, we thought we will continue from there only. Magnesium combining with oxygen. What is the product that is being formed? We just discussed. Quickly let me know in the comment section. What is the product being formed? You people have to be really, really fast in replying. Magnesium oxide. Correct. So, when you write in terms of words, that is a word equation. Pretty simple, right? Magnesium combining with oxygen to give you magnesium oxide. There you go. That is a word equation. We have written the words, right? Now, when we talk about a word equation, there are certain substances written on the left side of the arrow, certain on the right. So, you have got reactants and you have got products. Now, what are reactants? What are products? Let us understand that. Reactants basically are the substances that are taking part in a chemical reaction, that are reacting with each other. They are written on the left side of the arrow. So, magnesium and oxygen, they are going to be your reactant. Yes. When we talk about the products, the so product are the new substances that are formed because of this reaction. So, over here on the right side you see magnesium oxide. So, now you know what are reactants and what are products. But, we also see an arrow and we also see a plus sign. So, let us understand this as well. So, that we know all the aspects of a word equation. Arrow basically points the direction in which the chemical reaction is proceeding. Right. So, magnesium combining with oxygen, there is an arrow telling us that what is being formed after this, what is the direction of the reaction. And you see a plus sign to separate the reactants and products. So, if you have got more than one reactant, you just put a plus sign to separate them. Yes, here we have one product. So, had there been two products, you could have written it like P2, like this also plus P3. This is how we can go ahead with this. P3 and so on and so forth. Yes? Great. So, I hope we do not have to do it right now. This is just one product. Sort it till here. Quick, quick, loads of thumbs up that yes, ma'am. Word equation, reactants, products, arrow, plus sign, everything is clear to us and we can move on. Good, good to see that you people have understood till here. We will go really slow so that every aspect of balancing is clear to you. Wonderful, loads and loads of thumbs up. Let us move on and see what is next. So, when we write the same in terms of symbols and formulae, we are having the chemical equation. We call it a chemical equation. I am going to come back to this word skeletal pretty soon. Okay, Magnesium is Mg oxygen, O2 magnesium oxide, MgO. So, we have written the symbol of the elements and we have written the formula of the, com of the compounds that are being formed. Yes, of the molecules there. Correct. Yes, Aaron, I can repeat this. So, from the word equation to the chemical equation when you are coming, you are basically writing the symbols and the chemical formulae of the respective reactants and products. So, chemical equations, they are like this symbolic representation in which the reactants and the products are expressed in terms of their chemical formulae. Yes, if the element is there, then of course, the symbol of the element would be written. Yes, Amber, correct. 
skeletal we will come back to this. Yes, 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 I know, I know you people are completely right. So, what I want you to do is for magnesium and oxygen, right, just count the number of atoms for magnesium and oxygen on the reactant and the product side. Count this first, magnesium, oxygen, let us do one thing, reactant, product, let us count this together. Yes, magnesium, how many atoms of magnesium on the reactant side? Quick, quick reply, have to be very quick. How many reactants on the, how many atoms of magnesium on the reactant side? I want one unanimous answer. This is like a very easy peasy question I am asking you. The page, how is it two? I see only one and most of you are saying one. So, yes, one on the reactant side. What about the product side? How many atoms of magnesium on the product side? One, all right. So, we are sorted in case of magnesium. Coming to oxygen, how many oxygen atoms do you see on the reactant side? How many? Let us see. Manoj is the first one to answer that it is two. What about product side? How many atoms of oxygen do you see on the product side? Quick, quick, quick reply. Two, correct. Seriously? <laughs> 45? One? What is the correct answer? Someone is writing two is correct. On the product side, how many oxygen atoms? I want one unanimous answer. One correct, one is the correct answer. So, whosoever wrote two is correct is incorrect actually. One and oxygen is somewhere not balanced, right? So, are the numbers same on both the sides? Yes or a no? A quick, quick reply, a quick yes or a no. Let us see if the number is same or not. I see that now all of you are saying no. So, yes, you people are correct. The answer is no. Now, if the number of atoms are not same, definitely it is not going to follow the law of conservation of mass. So, let us quickly recall what this law says. This law says that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction, which means that mass of reactants is going to be equal to mass of products. So, if this is the equation given to us, A and B are the reactants, C and D are the products. So, mass of A plus mass of B, that is the mass of reactants, need to be equal to mass of C plus mass of D, which is the mass of products. If this is happening, then we can say that the equation is following the law of conservation of Mass. Yes, Madhiha, correct. Now, this brings us to a very, very important concept of balancing a chemical equation. You remember the word skeleton was there? Skeletal basically means unbalanced. So, till that time, the equation that we discussed was not balanced. The number of atoms of the elements were not the same, of each element was not the same. So, it was skeletal, that means it was unbalanced. Balanced chemical equation basically means that there are going to be equal number of atoms of every element on the reactant as well as the product side. Now, coming back to the same equation, we have placed a 2 over here, we have placed a 2 over here. Now, these 2, these 2 twos that you see over here, this is not a random number that we have written. It is not that 2 is my lucky number or a happy number that I have placed it over here. There is a proper logic behind this, there is a proper science, proper chemistry behind this. But by writing this, what we observe is that number of magnesium atoms on the reactant side is 2, number of magnesium atoms on the product side is also 2, number of oxygen atoms on the reactant side we can see 2 and on the product side also we can see 2. Yes, so that means we need to understand the concept of balancing. Over here, calcium plus oxygen giving you calcium oxide. We see that there is just one atom of calcium on the reactant side, one atom of calcium on the product side, two atoms 
of oxygen on the reactant side, only one atom of oxygen on the product side. What do you think? Is this equation following the law of conservation of mass or not? A quick yes or a no in the comment section. Do you think law of conservation of mass is being followed? Everybody is landing on the correct answer and writing no, a big, big no. So, good, good guys, correct, I see someone has already balanced this. So, let us see how to balance a chemical equation. Right now, we will first tell you how to balance, then we will visualize how to balance and then you will balance it yourself. Okay, we will give you questions for practice as well. Let us start with this. First step is to count the number of atoms of each element. This we have already done. We have counted the number of atoms on the reactant and the product side. Calcium was 1 on both the sides, oxygen 2 on reactant and 1 on the product side. Clearly, this can be verified. Madhya says this is a skeletal equation. Bilkul sahi. Absolutely right. So, you have understood the concept of skeletal equation as well. Now, over here we have got step number 2 which says balance the number of oxygen atoms. Calcium is already balanced, right? So, we need to balance the number of oxygen atoms. For that, we are writing a 2 over here. So, 2 into 1 to make it 2, right? 2 into 1 is 2. So, let us place a 2 over here so that now the number of oxygen atoms on both the sides is equal to 2 that means it is same what I want to what I want all of you to note over here is nothing in the box inside the box can be changed you see there is a box out here nothing inside this box can be changed take it as the golden rule of balancing it cannot be like calcium plus oxygen is giving you calcium oxide and you just to balance this you write a 2 over here that is not the right way Nothing inside the box can be changed. But what you can do is, you can probably, this is your box. What you can do is, you can place a number before the box. So, what we have done, we have placed a 2 over here, as you can see. Now, oxygen is balanced, but let us count the number of atoms again. We have to do this every time. Because while we are balancing one, the other one might get unbalanced. Okay. Now, we see that calcium is 1 on the reactant side, but on the product side, we see that it is 2. Now, understand this, that this 2 over here is with calcium also, is with oxygen also. It is with both, right. So, we see 2 calcium atoms over here. Oxygen is very much balanced. Now, what is the next step? Quickly tell me, what do we have to do next? How do we have to balance the next one? Let us see. Balance calcium, correct. So, we have to balance the number of calcium atoms and for that, what do we have to do? Multiply with 2 over here. So, write a 2 over here on the reactant side and there you go. Now, this equation is very much balanced. So, we have got 2 calcium atoms on the reactant side and on the product side, 2 oxygen atoms on the reactant and the product side. Correct, absolutely right. This is hidden trial. Good. Now, let us count again and cross check our answer. So, for calcium, we see 2 atoms on the reactant side, 2 on the product side, sorted. Oxygen, 2 oxygen atoms on the reactant side, 2 on the product side, sorted. So, this equation is now very much balanced. Now, we can call it a balanced chemical equation. So, from a skeletal equation, we have finally reached at a balanced chemical equation. Great. Now, the next step, just to make it more informative, what you can do is that you can write the physical state as well. Calcium, we all know, is solid. Oxygen is a gas. Calcium oxide is again solid. So, there you go. You have balanced the equation and made it more informative also. Awesome. Good. Good to see that you people have already balanced this. Now, can you balance this given equation, H2 plus O2 giving you H2O? Well, to answer this, let us actually visualize how balancing is being done. So, as promised, let us have the activity time over here. 
and let us let us quickly balance yes let us visualize this let us see what all do we have Loads and loads of thumbs up if yes, the screen is absolutely visible to you. Voice is not coming. I think there is some problem. Voice is not going there. Can you hear me, guys? Am I audible? Can you hear me? Quickly let me know in the comment section if you can hear me fine. Can you see this? Yes. I was speaking constantly. I hope now I am audible. Great. All right. It will be great if we can have the second screen at the bottom right as well. Are you all set to understand to actually visualize what happens in a chemical reaction? Can we have the bottom right screen as well? It is okay, we will just take a minute and then you will be able to see me as well. Chalo. Meanwhile, let us do one thing. Let us start by understanding what we are about to visualize. Okay. There was an equation being given to you, hydrogen forming water. Hello. Can you see me now? I hope now I am perfectly visible and audible to all of you. Yes. Great, all right. Now you can see the hand also, you can see me also. Awesome, so let us get started. So, I have this with me. Let us take this to be an atom of hydrogen. So, H2 will be like this. This H2 is combining with oxygen. What is oxygen? O2. So, can I place it like this? Yes, so hydrogen combining with oxygen and then I told you we will have an arrow to tell us in which direction the reaction is going. Hydrogen combining with oxygen to give us water and what is water? It is H2O. So, we have got 2 H over here and 1 O. So, there you go H2O. This is the equation, right? So, let us let us actually visualize this so that next time when we actually think about balancing, we know why we are doing and what we are doing. Yes. So, if I am right till here, give me loads of thumbs up that yes ma'am, this seems like H2 combining with O2 to give you water. Good. I see thumbs up. Alright. Now, I have a problem over here. I see 2 H over here, I see 2 H over here, sorted, but I see 2 oxygen over here, but I see only 1 oxygen over here, which means I need to have another oxygen this side, yes, I need to have another oxygen here, but my problem is, and not my problem, this is oxygen's problem actually, that it cannot 
exists just as O over there, right? It has to be in the form of H2O. That means we will have two hydrogen also over here with us. Yes? Correct? So now on the product side, what do you see? You see 2H2O. Yes? Awesome! But again, there is a problem. We see 2 oxygen. We see 2 oxygen sorted till here. We see 4 hydrogen over here on the product side. But over here, only 2 are there. So, what do I have to do? I have to add another H2 to this. So, I have added another H2. Correct? Now, this equation is completely balanced. So, what do we have? We have got 2H2 plus O2 giving us 2H2O. Yes? Quickly tell me if now the visualization of this chemical equation is perfectly clear to you. Yes, Nikita says it is balanced. Awesome! Good to know that. So, let us switch back to our PPT now. Let us switch back to the screen. Great! I saw all of you were actually telling me what needs to be done here. Next time, you can always visualize any equation based on this. Yes? Quick, quick thumbs up that yes ma'am, we will be able to visualize any equation now. Great guys, awesome. So, the final answer obviously in this case is going to be 2H2 plus O2 giving you 2H2O. What you need to understand is we cannot randomly add O or H anything on the product side. We randomly cannot make this O2, O3. O2 ko O3 nahi kar sakte, H2 ko kuch aur nahi kar sakte, H2 O ko H2 O2 nahi kar sakte. So, these are really basic things that you need to understand and that is why visualization is very, very important. Good, awesome. Well done guys, I can see that. Alright, so now that this concept is clear to you, I have a question for you. The question says calcium carbonate on heating decomposes to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So, you have got calcium carbonate over here. Thermal decomposition is taking place. That means it is in the presence of heat. Calcium oxide and carbon dioxide are being formed. Now, when 10 grams of calcium carbonate is decomposed completely, then you have 4.4 grams of carbon dioxide that is being formed. What is the mass of calcium oxide formed? Quickly tell me the answer in the comment section. Let us see if all of you can land on the correct answer or not. Many of you are saying it is 5.6 option B. Yes, correct you people are absolutely right. The correct answer is 5.6. Let us see how now. We have... 10 grams of calcium carbonate. Let me not write the unit. 10 grams, right. Now, we have 4.4 grams of carbon dioxide that is being formed. So, 4.4 grams. But we do not know what is the mass of calcium oxide. So, let us take it to be X. According to law of conservation of mass, total mass of reactants need to be equal to total mass of product. So, 10 is equal to X plus 4.4. Now, to calculate x, what do you have to do? 10 minus 4.4, basic maths, right? And you will get 5.6. So, if you got the answer right, give me loads of thumbs up in the comment section. Let me see who all actually got this one right. Correct. Yes, Shivani. Yes, Madhya. Shamna got this one right. Lakshad also got right. Nikita, Saksham, Samyak, Sai. Shankar, Sravya, Gautam, Goranj, all of you got this one right. Akanksha is not able to see what I have written, so I will just probably write this again. This is 10 grams, right? 
and carbon dioxide is 4.4. We have taken calcium oxide to be X. I hope now it is visible. Good, all right. Now that you know balancing, I think it is time to play a game. Are you all set to play a game with me now? Yes? How many of you are ready to play the game? Let's see. Tell me, tell me, tell me quickly guys, how many of you are ready to play the game? I think we are all set. All set to start the game, but first, quickly let me know if the screen is visible to you. Yes, it's a game on balancing chemical equations. So, see, in one single session, we are making sure that you understand the concept from all the angles, starting from the theoretical part of it to the visualization to making it little interesting, interactive for you. Good. The screen is visible and we should get started. So, let us play this game and based on what you tell me, I am going to write that. Okay, so you people have to be really, really interactive in this one. So whatever you will tell me, we will do that. Yes, I hope there is no noise coming. Can you hear any sound or this is okay with you? Can you hear me or is this, is there any music coming at the back? No sound? Sorted? Are you ready to explore? Let us get started. Krishna Singh ma'am play the sound. We the sound. Alright, so what do we have to do over here? What do we have to do over here? Let us see. Over here, you have to list down the number of atoms of each element. There is an equation being given to you. Iron is combining with H2O to give you Fe3O4 plus H2. The first step is to list down the number of atoms of each element on the reactant and the product side. Okay, let us start with iron. Step number 1, how many atoms of iron do you see on the reactant side? As you will tell me, I will keep increasing the number here. How many atoms? Krishna says one. All right. What about the product side? On the product side, how many iron atoms are there? Quick, quick, quick. You have to be really quick in replying here. Manoj says three. So, I will take the name of the person who is going to answer first. So, let me make it three. What about hydrogen? How many atoms of hydrogen on the reactant side? Let us see who will be the first one. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> but yes, you people are saying two. Hydrogen on the product side. Same. Okay, done. Made it two. Coming to oxygen on the reactant side. Again, Manoj is the first one to say one. Oh, all right. On the product side, oxygen atoms. What is the number? Keep the chat going. Great, four. Correct, correct, correct. Should I submit this? Should we cross check this? Let us see if we have marked. I am just marking what you are telling me. I am not even checking. Good. Balance still here. Is it? I do not think so. But. What we have done is, we can see that the hydrogen atoms are balanced. Yes? As a whole, is this a balanced equation or a skeletal equation? What do you think? Balanced or skeletal? What kind of equation is this? Skeletal. All right. So, let us go ahead and balance this one. What is the next step? Well, let us see.
Tell me, you have to select an element to balance. Which one? Which one should I pick up? Iron? All right. I think the noise is still coming if there is some sound coming if that can be fixed. Okay. Coming back to this. We have to balance iron. Now I see there is only one over here. Can you see? One over here is there on the reactant side. On the product side there are three. What do I do? How do I make this three on the reactant side? You people are saying isko three bana do. So let's go ahead and make it three. Alright, done that. We've made this three. Now what we see is on the reactant and the product side iron is very much balanced. Let's submit this answer. But as I told you, every time we balance one element, we have to check others as well. Now, iron is pretty much happy. Next, what do we have to do? Next, we need to choose again what to balance. And this is no rocket science. We know that now oxygen is not balanced. So, let's balance oxygen as well. And you people will tell me the number that I need to write over here. Which number should I write over here? Tell me. For balancing oxygen, I see 4 on the reactant, on the product side. 1 into 4, alright, aapki baat mante hai. Let's agree with what you are saying. I have made it 4. Done? Submit kar de. Great, submitted. Alright. We have done this. So now, what we have done is, we have in a way balanced oxygen on both the sides. But hey, because of this, what happened to hydrogen now? That is unbalanced, right? So again, we have to choose the element to balance and this time our element is going to be hydrogen. Your turn. I have told you the element, now you have to tell me how to balance this one. I see that 8 atoms of hydrogen are there on the reactant side. On the product side, what do I do? You are saying make it 4H2, that means 2 into 4. Alright, I will go with what you are saying. 2 into 4, submit kar de. Let's submit and see if we have got this one right. So now, we have got a coefficient of 4 on both the sides, which means 4 into 8. Yes? Good, good, good. By the way, I think now the equation is balanced. What do you think? Awesome. Yes, so 3 iron atoms on both the sides, 8 hydrogen atoms on both the sides, 4 oxygen atoms. And there you go, the equation is very much balanced. Of course, the total number of atoms 15 on both the sides. Akanksha is saying V1, yes. Awesome. Good guys. Are you ready to solve another one? Let's go ahead and let's play the game with another equation. Quick, quick thumbs up. Amazing. I see a lot of yes. So, let's solve this equation as well. Okay, what do we have? We have CO2 combining with H2O to give us C6H12O6 plus O2. Quickly tell me the number of carbon atoms on the reactant side. You people have to be really quick. Carbon atoms on reactant side and the first one is Saksham Tiwari who is saying ma'am make it 1. On the product side number of carbon atoms. Number of carbon atoms. Let's see who is going to be the first one and we have Muskan who said make it 6. Done guys. Coming to hydrogen now. For hydrogen. On the reactant side quickly tell me how many atoms are there. Srishti says 2, let's go with what she's saying. On the product side, how many hydrogen atoms are there? I'm just looking who's going to answer it first. I know all of you will give the correct answer and we have Muskan. Muskan is really quick in answering all the answers right now. Okay, she's giving all the correct answers. So, making it 12 as per what Muskan is saying. 
coming to oxygen. Be very careful for this one. Tell me, in case of oxygen, how many atoms do you see on the reactant side? Be careful with this one. Manoj says 3. Yes, correct. CO2 has 2, H2O has 1, total 3. On the product side, again, be very careful. Oxygen atoms. Let's see. Again, Manoj is the first one to write ki 8 kar do ise. Correct. 8 kaise hua? How is this 8? 6 from you are getting C6, H12, O6. So, 6 from there and 2 from O2. Let's submit this. And yeah, we've got the green signal. We are absolutely right. Now, we have to do the same drill. Over here, we'll select an element, we'll balance it and you people will tell me how to balance this one. Yes. So, let's balance carbon. I see on the product side, 6 carbon atoms are there. What should I write over here? What number will come here? 1 into, Srishti says 6. All right, let's make it 6. Done? Correct. Let's submit. Let's submit. Now, our carbon is really happy, completely balanced. So, we have made carbon really happy. Next, we have to choose another element. This time, hydrogen oxygen. What to choose? Let us take hydrogen. Okay. Now, hydrogen, 12 atoms on the product side. On the reactant side, we have only 2. H2O, so 2 atoms, right? What number needs to be written in front of H2O? That means... 2 into what? Correct. 6. Alright. So, let me make this 6. 2 into 6 making it 12. Submitting my answer as per what you people are telling me to do. And we are right. We are very much on the right track. So, we have actually balanced hydrogen as well. Correct. So, there are 12 atoms of hydrogen on both the sides. Moving on to oxygen. Time to select an element which is oxygen this time. For oxygen, what we see is on the reactant side, there are 18 atoms. How 18? Let us understand that. 6 CO2, that means 6 into 2. 12 are there plus 6 H2O. So, 6 comes from there. So, 12 plus 6 making it 18. On the product side, right now, there are 8. What number should we write in front of O2 to match this? 6 plus something into 2. I see you writing 6, 8, 9. I am getting a lot of... Achha, agar hum 9 kar denge, so 9 into 2 will be 18. 18 plus 6. Bahut zyada number ho gaya to. Total hume 18 chahiye. Think about this. A lot of you are voting for 9 over here. 6. Alright, let's let's go with 6. When we do it this way, when we write 6, so 6 O2, that means 6 into 2, 12. Plus, 6 is coming from C6, H12, O6 as well. So, 12 plus 6 giving us 18. I hope you found your mistake where you are making a mistake. In the exam also, you have to keep looking at all the products. Let's submit the answer. Let's cross check if we are actually on the right track or not. Hey, we are very much on the right track and oxygen is balanced now. Great. Hey Shikha, good to know that. Awesome. So, this equation is also very well balanced. Well done guys, you balanced this equation in a, such an interesting way. Yes. So, that's why we keep, keep telling you, go ahead, download the app and you will find wonderful stuff out there. Awesome. So, yes, 36 atoms on the reactant side, 36 atoms on the product side, 6 of iron on both the sides, 12 of hydrogen, 18 of oxygen and this equation over here is very much balanced. Great. And with this, 
Ta-da! You have balanced both the equations. Even he is saying excellent to you people. Good. All right. Let's switch back to the initial screen now. Correct guys, absolutely right. It was amazing. You people have... You people are just simply amazing, I must say. Yes, so I hope you have enjoyed this. Quick, quick thumbs up in the comment section if you have actually enjoyed playing this game. If you have enjoyed the game, if you have enjoyed visualizing the concept, if you have enjoyed both, right? If you have enjoyed the concept that was being taught, you know the easy steps to balance. Quickly like this video and post loads of thumbs up over here. Let me know that you people are really enjoying the session. Good, I can see loads of thumbs up over here and I, I hope you have liked the video as well. We will be coming with a shortcut trick to balance any chemical equation really quick. So, stay tuned for that as well. I see you people are wanting shortcut trick. We will be coming for that, coming up with that. Don't worry. But it's more important at this point of time to understand why balancing is being done, how balancing is being done. How can we actually think of balancing? Great. So, whatever kind of sessions you need from us, you can always post it in the comment section and we will take it forward. All right, guys. Homework question as promised. So, the question is, what is the balanced chemical equation for the reaction of photosynthesis? You have got carbon dioxide combining with water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll, right? And it is giving you oxygen and glucose. You have to write the balanced chemical equation for photosynthesis. How many of you are going to perform? How many of you are going to post the answer after the live session? Because you need to type your answer in the comment section below once the live session gets over. Quick, quick thumbs up if you are going to perform this homework question. If you are going to write Choda Bheem, somebody named Choda Bheem has already said me. Muskan, Alina, Nikita, Saksham, Lakshita, Yash, Mahamaya, Love Kush, Lakshit, Prince, Shashank, Karuna, Bhakti, Shankar, Ashwini, awesome. I will wait for your answers then. And let's connect on Telegram as well. I hope all of you are there. If not, quickly connect with us over there as well. Yeah, Join us. And the link is there in the description box. And yes, we have definitely got you covered guys. We will keep coming up with amazing sessions for you people. And interesting update. Baiju's classes with two teacher advantage. Yes. So, what are the highlights of this? First of all, 24-7 video lessons on the app. What better can you ask for? Isn't it? Personalized learning journeys. So, everybody has a different learning graph, right? And for that, you need different learning journeys. So, there you go. We are here for you for the unique style of learning that you have. Yes, dual teacher model and of course, instant doubt clarification. For all that, what do you have to do? You have to go and try out this free trial class. So, go ahead. The link is there in the description box and try this out as well. And of course, it feels really nice when you encourage us. So, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Yes? Great! Awesome, guys. So, keep practicing balancing chemical equations. Practice a lot of chemical equations and we will be back with another really amazing session pretty soon. Great. Awesome guys. So keep exploring the magic of chemistry. Take care and I will see you super soon again. Bye-bye.